Howdy, folks! Welcome back to another episode of Contradiction with special secret super agent Mick Cheddar, all the way from Cheesy Woods. Welcome, everybody. How y'all doing today? We um we got a lot done on our last episode. We got a lot of stuff done, which is very well done for us. Um, we found out that old Sarah McGinnis, 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 Emma, Sarah. There's a lady. Not that one. I don't want this one. Emma! Emma! Emma? I don't know where Sarah's come from. Where is Sarah? There is no Sarah. What's the name of the lady? Vicky. Not Sarah. I don't know where Sarah's coming from. I really have no idea on that one. Anyway, Emma, sneaky sneaky, had an affair behind Beaky Beaky's back. Simon. Well, kind of. Having an affair with the guy who we're gonna go see over here, who is also the lady who is over here. They are married, they're a thing. She's having an affair. Naughty, naughty, he's gonna get caughty. Um, and we'll see what happens with that. First, before we go into it, there, I was looking around and stuff. There is called the Chief, which we're gonna do, which we haven't done this game. So we're just gonna touch base with the Chief and just let him know what the jazz is going on, okay? Yeah, maybe, but it might be too late for him. Okay, it might be too late for that. He might have gone to bed. You know, people do that. 7 p.m., maybe early, two doors, I don't know. Um, before we go anywhere else, though, we're going to go right the thing at Abbey Meads Farm. Abbey Field Farm? Abbey Farm. We're going to go to Abbey Farm. Um, cause, why are we here? Why are we here? I don't know, actually. Why are we here? Do I need to speak to you again? I feel like I need to. Questions, if you don't mind. I feel like I need to speak to you again. Um, ask about this. Ever seen one of these? Seen them around college. What do you know about? I don't actually remember what the hell I'm doing at this point. It's a business course. Ask Simon. He's on it. You would. Cheesy said that. Anyway, that's Spectre, that's Special that's Agent Mick. And you haven't I know what I'm doing. Simon. Not really. Business doesn't interest me. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, so, you haven't discussed the course with Simon, but you know Simon's on the course. That sounds weird to me. I'm just going to say it. That sounds a little bit strange. Um, right. Is that all I need to be around here for? I feel like that is all I need to be around here for. Thank you. There is a I'll thing, though. Do I just go up there? I feel like I just go up there. I just go up there. There is. There's another greenhouse um, up there. So I can't go there. That's fine because I know that there's the other things. So we're gonna move them up. We're gonna make a move and we're gonna go see um, the guy Atlas. We're gonna go down here first because things start to happen. And there's a weird guy carving. Don't mind not defacing public property, please. What's it to you? Well, I'm a policeman. And that's supposed to make what difference exactly? It means I'm going to smack you in the chops there, buddy. Do exactly what I tell you to do. Or what? Or you arrest me? Yeah. No, I'll give you a fine this time. So if I do something that you don't like, I have to give you some money. What happens if you do something that I don't like? You're going to give me some money? Look, I do not have time to discuss it at the moment. Can you just go? I don't like that guy. Pathetic. What a prick! What an absolute prick! Hmm. What a prize brat! <laughs> Just call him a prick, mate. A Fine. Either he's a die-hard rock fan, or there's more to that symbol than meets the eye. I feel like brat is too nice a term, especially in this day and age. Actually, for me, it means many different things, but, um, that guy's just a prick. Goddamn prick. Hey, we're here to go see, is it Ryan? I feel like it's Ryan. Ryan and Rebecca. You get, like, oh, you'd have Ryan all your house. It is Ryan. Ryan. I just want to check over here report. first before we go into there. Office. See if there's anything, you know, go on in over here. Apparently not, though. So, okay, we're done. So, this one. Hello! Hi there! Yes. 
Detective Inspector Jenks, I'm conducting an investigation in the area. Wouldn't mind asking you a few questions, is that all right? <sighs> Come in, Inspector. Thank you. Already in the door, mate. Not really going to get rid of me at this stage, are you? <laughs> Drink, Inspector. No. I'd better not, eh? Hmm. So you wanted to speak to me? I believe You've got the face that he's like, Vine Do you know what? I've been a very bad boy. Oh, I've been a very bad boy. Kate Vine. Kate. Well, yes, yeah, I have no idea where Sarah came from. Or Victoria. All of this has been thoroughly investigated. Maybe I slammed Vine and Kate together and I was like, Vic, and then well, Victoria. We have reason to believe no idea where Sarah's come from. More to it than that. No idea now. Really? Really good inspector. Me. Oh, then in that case, I'd be prepared to assist in any way possible. I'm glad to hear it, buddy. Pleasure. Pleasure. Yeah, sure. What have you said? What are you drinking? Scotch, maybe. I don't know. I might take one of those. Um, right. Let's do the, the basics first. Let's get Kate's everything done. I believe the last time you saw Kate Vine was at the pub last Friday. Then you came straight back with some of the students. Is that right? Uh, yes, I like to have a glass of port or two after a long day. The oh, benefits um, of being married yeah. to the landlady. I hate port. How did she seem? I married? hate port. The landlady. Kate. Oh, Kate. Uh, well, she was her usual self, drunk. That was usual. It was for her, yes. I mean, it didn't impair her ability, though. She was a very bright star, lots of potential, very enthusiastic. So she right. seemed to be enjoying the course. Well, as far as anybody could tell, yes. When did you first meet her? Uh, Seems when she joined about three months ago. And you hadn't met her before then? No. So you didn't suspect there was anything wrong? Well, do you mean did I expect her to drown herself? Of course I didn't inspect her. It was quite a shock. Nobody expected that. Mm. Yeah, so, story. Um, I, I have very bad memories of Port because that's the time um, when I lived down back in Portsmouth. Um, it was, we were doing a ring of fires, me and my brother and my girlfriend at the time. And we were doing it with like a stein glass. And she's like, actually, uh, possibly this stein glass. Actually, this is bad memories. You weren't my friend that night. You know that, okay? Um, filled with port and tequila as the monkey shot in the middle. And guess what muggins had to drink that? Yeah. The whole thing and they kept filling it up like it's until i finished it every time we hit we did like kind of um an unlimited ring of fire and every time i hit a king it would get filled back up again it was just it was just so bad like so much sick after that i like i covered a driveway it was biblical all right it was incredible anyway carrying on um i don't feel like i trust you on any of this stuff if i'm really honest with you buddy um, sorry, just give me two seconds. Uh, we're good to. I think we're good. This, no, sorry. Give me two seconds. There we go. Sorry. Uh, just have to adjust the recording. Um, right, let's do. This isn't really that important, I don't think, but we'll ask her. Have you seen this before? Not that I recall. You don't know whether Kate had lost this or not? Uh, uh, no, I've never seen it before. Sorry. Right, sure. I don't like you. I really don't trust you at all. Why would you know anything about this? Does Simon Thompson ride a bike, do you know? I think so, yes. I, th I think he drives as well, but I might be mistaken. I... I <sighs> why can I ask about that, right? But, like, stuff like... Why would this matter? Like, well, that, that apparently matters. So, why does that matter? Maybe the bike was the murder instrument. Have you tried Simon's homebrew? Does he make homebrew? <laughs> no, I haven't had the pleasure, sorry. You wouldn't like it, apparently. It's very bad for your health. Know what this is? Yes. It's a freedom necklace. Uh, it's a symbol that we use on the course. It's supposed to represent freedom from the chains of your ancestry. Have you ever bought one of these? I haven't, but I've seen the students wearing them. So wait a minute, you buy it, so it's a symbol on your course. Why did Emma have one then? That's weird. Is that weird? Have you seen one of these before? I believe that uh, looks like a scrying mirror to me. 
you have seen one before. Hmm. Well, I, I, I used to have one myself, actually, along with lots of other bits and pieces of that nature. Silly things, you know. Really? Yes, I, when I was in my teenage years, right. <laughs> I had quite an obsession with that kind of thing. I, uh, I was a very sombre child, uh, and, well, not that you could tell, always playing fantasy games, reading books about that kind of malarkey. You know. Malarkey? What sort of books did you Dude, read? I live in that malarkey. Well, uh, books on black magic, uh, not the chocolates. Uh, <laughs> um, witchcrafts, <laughs> rituals, that kind Dream. of thing. I, I grew out of it, of course. But you're not into that sort of thing now. <laughs> of course I'm not. Uh, I mean, I don't need to believe in the supernatural, Inspector. The natural world is far more interesting. Don't you Why think? are you whispering? Yeah, OK. Um, I won't know about that. Might know about these things, though, won't you? Uh, so let's go with... I need to go back a couple. Uh, I missed a couple there. There we go. Broken window. What do you know about the broken window at the back of the Because you're married to uh, the last, Rebecca so... Rebecca told me about it. I don't know how it got smashed, though. I told her to tape over it. We can't have anybody cutting themselves. You have to be very health and safety conscious these days. <laughs> Yeah, because, you know, a broken mirror, that's... I wouldn't have thought of that to cover that. I thought people hurt themselves. Can you tell me about this? Haven't seen that for a while. We had a friend who used to make them for us for the course. He passed away last year. What does the uh, symbol mean? Uh, it's borrowed from paganism. It's the goddess, symbol eh? of the triple goddess. There you go. The mother, maiden and crone, represented by the waxing and waning of the moon. Huh. Um, it's an ancient symbol. It predates Christianity. Some people say that it dates back to Paleolithic times. Cool. And is that uh, relevant to the course? Well, no, no, no. I mean, it, it's a symbol we, we dabbled with, but it's not particularly relevant. We don't use it on the course, no. So why... It's weird having it. Do you know anything about an argument in the pub last Friday? In what time? I believe it wasn't long after the pub opened. No. I usually leave for the manor house about the six. The manor house, uh, darling. Yes. Shop preparations around 6.30. I like to get a head start. Yeah. What did you say, though, about... I thought you said a time here somewhere. Drunk at meeting last Friday. Hmm. You could that be a thing or not? No, apparently not. Okay, um, we've done that. We've done that. Let's do this. Tell me about this. Ah, oh, it's, uh, it's the first one we ever had made. We had it designed by an agency after we'd spent weeks trying to trying to find a name for this place. It took you weeks. Don't be like that, Inspector. I thought it was a rather grand name. Actually, if I'm being honest, I plucked it out of thin air one night in the George while I was having a few gin and tonics. Well, actually, somebody left a book and I stole it. Hmm. <laughs> what a little scamp you are. I hate this guy. More, not for, even if he's not the murderer, I just, something here just doesn't, you know, doesn't feel right, you know what I'm saying? It was the first poster for Atlas, but, yeah, okay. Makes weird. I don't believe you. If I did this, would that mean anything to you? It's a devil sign, isn't it? Is that what you're getting at, Inspector? No. This is not something you use on the course. Of course it's not something we use on the course, Inspector. I don't even know what that could possibly mean, exactly. Hmm. Okay. Fine. Well, uh, for now, I'm going to take that symbol and I'm going to go and ask James back. I'm pretty sure that leads me to some other stuff. Um, so let's go back here. A uh, few more questions, if you don't mind. If I did that, would it mean anything to you? Yeah. It's a Satanism symbol. Satanists use it. Have you ever seen anyone using it? <laughs> Lots of people. Politicians, presidents, CEOs. Have you ever seen anyone local using it? Not that I remember. 
There is not a, how did I? Be back later on there is a thing. I don't remember, I'm tempted to hit the hint, but I really don't want to. Uh, let's go talk to Simon and Emma and Rebecca, and we'll see if we can get anything else out of them. Because I feel like... Questions, if that's okay? If I did this, would that mean anything to you? Why, is it meant to mean something? No, no, it's okay. I literally come back just to ask you that one thing, to be fair. Well, apparently a couple of things. What do you know about this? It's an advertisement. They had it designed by an agency, I think. And when was that? Last year sometime. Why does Simon still have it, then? I know, that seems weird to me, have right? Because Simon's got it from the last three months, right? Is it meant to be black like that? I think so. No. Ah, it just seems kind of odd. Um. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. All right, let's go up to Simon and Emma. A few more questions, please. Thank you. Um, hand symbol card. If I did this, would it mean anything to you? No. Why? It's okay. Thanks. Why? Thank you. Probably be back later. Why can't I talk to Simon? It didn't give me the option to talk to Simon. Where the fudge is Simon? There you go. Uh, come on. Thank you. Nice apron. Smells nice. <laughs> what is that? Uh, chili pork. Oh, no idea you were a cook. Oh, no, no, I used to. Used to be more into it. No, I don't do it so much. I used to grow my own herbs and everything. Not oh, here? Uh, no. Uh, at the farmhouse where I used to live. Oh, where was that? That's where James lives. Yeah, we used to share a house together. The farmer Is used that to use maybe. a corner on his greenhouse to grow stuff. I didn't know you knew James that well. Well, didn't really get on. Where are the greenhouses? Well, it's just through the farmyard at the back. Interesting. That might be maybe my way in. I don't know. Maybe. If I did uh, this, would that mean anything to you? <laughs> Who did you see doing that? Someone in the woods carving it into a tree. That was Kyle. It, Kyle. It's a guy from the course. He's an idiot. And where does he live? I can't remember. Somewhere outside the village. The three fingers thing is something the students started doing. It's something from the course. The, uh, the Three Freedoms. So it is yeah. something from the course. The Three Freedoms? It's from the course. It's um, a phrase. Free to be free. Free yourself from the things that are holding you back, right? Uh, things that stop you being successful. What are they? There's uh, fear of failure, uh, guilt, and uh, a doubting, uh, a self-doubt. Dude, that's like my you breakfast, mate. Yeah. <laughs> guilt ruins lives. It stops you looking forward. It it serves no practical purpose. It's basically destructive. Right. Hmm. Free to be free. Not the most original slogan. But I wonder how far this freedom goes. Yeah, that's a good point. I, uh... I wonder if Emma's Thank bought you. into it. Thank you. Probably be back later. I'm not bought into that crap. Do well, it's crap. It's just from them. It's crap. To be free. Yeah. It's an Atlas thing. I first heard it when I went with Simon. What did they say about it? They said that you shouldn't feel guilty if you do something wrong. I don't agree with that. Mm -mm. No? No. No, I think you should feel guilty if you do something wrong. What did uh, Simon think? I don't know, but I don't think he agreed with that either. You need to have a chat with your fella, mate, because, uh, yeah. Um, though, can I use that as a contradiction between, oh, no, because you do agree it's wrong. Feel that nothing guilty, heard the phrase of a double doubt Simon agrees with it fully. Okay. Can I not do those two then? 
No, that's probably not a thing. Okay, but then surely now that's I know about the thing, the you. greenhouse, so I can sh hopefully, hopefully, go here. Wonderful with what what was spiffing? Yes, lovely. Up here and then go up here, and then hopefully there'll be an icon for going inside. Simon mentioned another. There you go. Further up. On the farm. Must be up the hill over there. And then in we go. No, I'm not sure why that needs its own one. Maybe there'll be something here later. On. I don't know. Invest in McGee. <clears throat> Herbs. Special herbs. I wonder if James knows this is here. Probably. I don't know what it is, but be interesting to see what he says about mm, it. Hmm. I just. Awesome. Right. So if I go back down. Come on, move your butt, Jenks. Keep up with make chatter, buddy. Yeah, keep going down. Yeah, timber. And uh, ring the bell. There we go. Please I ring the bell. More things, please. This. Could you tell me what these are, please? I found them in the greenhouse. Be snooping around on the farm, have we? It's called investigating, James. Yeah. It's just mint. Mint leaves for cooking. Yeah. I uh, I heard you were a bit of a budding chef. Dabble a bit. Won a few competitions. Very impressive. So you normally just leave packets of mint lying around. Must have dropped it. Hmm. I don't believe you. I'm going to tell you what they are, though, right? All right, I need to find someone who tells me what they are. Um... Ever hear the phrase, free to be free? Heard anyone use that? Nah. What is it, a song? No, I don't think so. Doesn't matter. The person I'm going to go to this on, for, okay. I think, is Rebecca, I'm going to say. Although, actually, I know Rebecca does tell me, but I do want to check in with Simon first. Because I know he's cooking, and I know about the herbal tea stuff, right? I wonder if that's that. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. I could have dried leaves. This is what I want to ask about. You know what these are? No. Look a bit like sage leaves. Haven't seen them before, though. Not at all, no. Hmm. I wonder... Tried selling it, but only to James. Makes his own home brew. I can't do... Thank you. I want to ask about the tea later. thing. I want to see if that's the thing I can get. Do this. Go back to the pub. I feel like he's dealing. Maybe not dealing. Maybe it's just trading for home brew, but... Ask about a few more things, please. That one. That's what I want to ask about. Do you know what these are? Oh, magic mint. Where did you find this? Magic mint. Salvia divinorum. I used to grow it years ago. It makes you trip. In what way? It's a hallucinogenic and legal. Mm. It's a dangerous combination. Sure. Right? Do you use it? <laughs> Me? <laughs> no. No, I don't even take medicines. I um, I like to stay pure. Oh, pure. Lovely. I didn't expect Rebecca to know about growing drugs. I know she claims not to use them herself, but I'm not so sure. No, me neither, Jinx. I don't know if everyone here is just a big drug lab deal, warlord thing going on. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Yeah, why are you making drugs? Ever and then you hid it from me. Hid it from me. What's that, skin cream? It's not a skin cream, no. It's a plant. Really? Don't know much about plants. Are you... So you've never heard of salvia? Um, no. I'm missing something, aren't I? How do I find it? Ah, oh, there's something I need. 
I, there is a thing I need, and it's about oh, another death be. here. And I don't know how to find out about it. But we'll be back very soon with some more contradiction. I hope to God you guys have enjoyed your time here today. Um, in the meantime, have a great day, have a great night. Whatever time's on your end, stay happy, stay positive, stay cheesy out there. Lots of love, folks. Bye-bye. <laughs>